of Psalm 63, verse 1. O God, you are my God, I will seek thee earnestly. My soul thirsts for thee, and my flesh yearns for thee in a dry and weary land where there is no water. This word earnestly, better translated early. He says, God, early I will seek you. This is David's prayer. He says, I want to get up early and seek God. So there is, there is a biblical understanding of why the first zamanim, the first time, the first zaman is 6 a.m. It's because that's when everybody, the creation itself is rising. The sun is coming up. People get up and they begin to praise God. They seek him early. First hour, sunrise. Judaism refers to this as the shachrit prayers. This is from the Hebrew word shachar, which means dawn. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. And in the early morning, while it was still dark, he arose and went out and departed to a lonely place and was praying there. Before it's even sunrise, Yeshua is arising and going to pray. Here we have Yeshua rising early as a rabbi does. And he goes to seek God before the sun comes up. We see the Messiah of Israel doing the early morning prayers. Luke 21, I want to look at verse 38. Start off in verse 37. Now during the day he was teaching in the temple. But at evening he would go out and spend the night at the mount that is called Olivet. And all the people would get up early in the morning to come to him in the temple to listen to him. Why is he at the temple at the very early morning hours? Shabris. I'm coming to see the Father. And because he is going to seek the Father during the early morning hours, other people are like, whatever he's doing, I want some of it. And so they begin to go and they spend time and they go through the morning prayers. And then he begins to teach them from the Torah. John chapter 8. Will you please go there with me? Beginning in verse 1. But Yeshua went to the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again to the temple. And all the people were coming to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery, having set her in the midst. Yeshua is there, doing the morning prayers, teaching the people in the early hours. It was the example of our Lord to seek the Father early. Now, maybe you're one of those people, you're like, look, I am not the right man to be around before my morning coffee. I can be guilty of that. I tend to be very early riser. I tend to be up, bright. I'm full functioning early in the morning. My wife is like, give me some time to wake up. I, you know, how does the proverb talk about, you know, the guy that screams out loud, good morning to everybody, and how odious he is in the sights of everyone, right? I'm not telling you how to live your life, but I am suggesting that there's a blessing to be found in seeking God early. 